Hi viewers and students, in the last classes we have discussed central tendencies, mean and mode. Today class, let us discuss one more central tendency that is median. Children already have known median of ungrouped data in your earlier classes 7th, 8th and 9th. In this class, we discuss how to find the median of classified data or grouped data. Okay children, let us recall the median of ungrouped data. Let us take heading median of ungrouped data. You can see the same heading on the screen. Shall so, any one of you say what is the median of ungrouped data? Very good. All of you recall the knowledge about median. Median means mid value or middle observation or Average of mid values of the data arranged in ascending order or descending order is called median. You can see the definition on the screen. Children, once again, see the definition mid value or average of mid values of the data arranged in ascending order or descending order is called median of the data. Let us understand it very clearly. Okay, children, the mid value or average of mid values of the data arranged in ascending order or descending order is called median. Children, when the ungrouped data is given, first of all, to find the median, we have to arrange those observations. Whatever the number of observations, we have to arrange the given observation in ascending order or descending order. That is our science. No problem. You can arrange them in ascending order or descending order. After arranging the observations in ascending order or descending order, the next thing you have to do is identify the mid value. We have to identify the mid value of all the observations after arranging the observations in ascending order or descending order. Here, one question arises. Sometimes, one observation will be the mid value. Sometimes two observations will be the mid values of the data. This is the thing we have to remember. Children, if there are five observations in the data, let us take five observations. If there are five observations in the data, when we have to arrange these five observations in ascending order or descending order, after arranging those observations in ascending order or descending order, we get same five observations, the order is different. Here are five observations. When we leave first two observations and last two observations, there will be one observation you can find in the middle. First two observations, last two observations are divided, you can get one observation in the middle of those observations. That is the median of that data. Sometimes, if there are six observations, how can we say one observation is the middle value? There are the six observations. After arranging those six observations, you get the, those same observations in ascending order or descending order. You get the same observations. How many mid values you can find in these six observations? which are arranged in ascending order or descending order. Suppose I eliminate first two observations and last two observations. You can see two observations in the middle of these six observations. First two observations, sec second two observations and the last two observations. In them, first two observations and last two observations are eliminated, you think. There are two observations you can see in the middle of all these observations. Children. I think you have got uh, the idea. When the five observations are there, there will be the one observation that is the third observation is the mid value. When you arrange six observations in the ascending order, you can get two observations as middle values. They are third observation and fourth observation. You can see the same thing on the screen. Those are when five observations are there, there will be one mid value. When six observations are there, there will be two mid values. Children, anybody of you say about this? Okay, very good. When number of observations is odd number. Here, 
five observations are there in the first thing first question five observations are there in five observations five is the odd number when the number of observations is odd number how many mid values you can see on the screen only one mid value that is the third value third observation is the mid value itself is the median okay children when the number of observations of the data is even number you can see the second example in the second example we have six observations six is the even number when the number of observations is even number we get two observations as middle values that are third observation and fourth observation these are the mid values in this case we have to find the average of these two mid values to get the median this is a way to find the median we can understand the same thing by taking an example let us see example children let us take one question here are the observations 7 5 3 8 2 6 these are the seven observations you can see the same question on the screen find the median of this ungrouped data this is the question given to us we have to find the median of this ungrouped data children let us recall what we have to do first first we have to write the observation as it is observations 7 5 3 8 2 6 1 what the next thing we have to arrange them in ascending order or descending that is our side let us write in ascending order ascending order means small to big ascending order of the given observations you see 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 here all the observations are arranged in ascending order okay children after arranging these observations in ascending order how many mid values you can see very good only one mid value you can see because already as we discussed number of observations is 7 7 is the odd number so we have only one number one observation as mid value children say what is the mid value of all these seven observations we can eliminate first three and last three you can get the fourth observation that is 5 that is the mid value we can write in the next step mid value of the observations is 5 when one mid value is there one observation is there that itself is the median of the data therefore median is equal to 5 this is the answer children when the number of observations is odd number we get only one mid value and itself is the median okay children let us take one more example when the number of observations is even number okay children you can see the question on the screen the question is 302516 are the observations of the data find the median of this data this is the question given children what are the first step we have to do very good we have to write the observations as it is observations you can see the same thing on the screen observation the given observations are 3 comma 0 comma 2 comma 5 comma 1 comma 6 very good next we have to find the median first next step we have to do is we have to write them in ascending order or descending order let us write in ascending order that means small to big ascending order of the observation see children in them 0 is the smaller one comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 6 these are the observations in ascending order the next thing we have to do is we have to find the mid value of these observations children when you observe all these observations here are how many observations children six very good six is either even or odd very good even number as we discussed how many mid values you can see very good two among these six values first two and last two are eliminated you think in be, in be, between them there are two values as mid values or middle observations what are those middle observations children very good 2 comma 3 middle values 2 comma 3 that means third observation and fourth observations are the mid values that are 2 and 3 in this case how can we find the median as we discussed when there are two mid values in the data we have to find the average of those two mid values average means sum of observations by number of observations we have to find 
average is equal to 2 plus 3 by 2. 2 plus 3 by 2 that is 5 by 2. When we divide 5 by 2 we get 2.5. Therefore, median is equal to 2.5. This is the way to find the median of the data when the number of observations is even or odd number. Here we get a doubt. If the number of observations is more than 100 numbers, more than 1000, how we can get which observation or which term will be the mid value or middle values. Now, let us get a formula or let us generalize a formula to find which observation or which term of the observations will be the middle values or middle value of the data. Because the middle value is the main important thing when we calculate the median of the raw data. Maybe even or odd number because number of observations may be even or odd whatever it may be let us think n is the odd number if n is the odd number in the first case we see if n number of observations n is the odd number how many mid values you can see very good one mid value which observation which observation will be the mid value this is the question very simple here is the formula here is the generalization that n plus 1 by 2th term is the middle observation or middle value. Okay, children. First case is if number of observations n is odd number, n plus 1 by 2th term is the middle value or middle observation. We can check this by taking 5 observations as we discussed. If uh, n value is 5, 5 observations are there. Which observation will be the mid value? This is the question. Okay, children. Here, n value is 5. When odd number of observations is there, n plus 1 by 2 term is the mid value. n plus 1 by 2 means, means n value is 5. 5 plus 1 by 2, that is 6 by 2. We get 3. That means, third term is the middle observations. That is the third term is the middle observation. Already we discussed in the example when number of observations is 5, third term is the middle value. Okay, children, if number of observations is 91, which term from the first term will be the middle value? Here, n is equal 91. Number of observations is odd number. 91 is the odd number. So, how many mid values will be there? 1. Which mid value? Which value will be the mid value? Which term will be the mid value? For that, we have the formula or generalization n plus 1 by 2 term. n plus 1 by 2, n value 91. 91 plus 1 by 2, 92 by 2, we get 46. 46 term is the middle value of 91 observations of ascending, of arranging ascending or descending order. This is the very easy to find which term, which observation will be the mid value. What is the formula? n plus 1 by 2 term. If number of observations is 999, 999 is the odd number, n is called 999. Which observation will be the mid value? 19, 999 plus 1 by 2, that is 1000 by 2, we get 500. That means 500 term from the first term will be the mid value of the data. Okay, children. In the second case, let us see. If number of observations is even number, that means n is even number. As we discussed in simple examples, there will be two mid values. Which observation, which terms from the starting term will be the mid values? The question arises. Okay, children. For that, we have the generalization. When the number of observations n is even number, we get n by 2th term and n by 2 plus 1th term are the mid values of the data. Okay, children, let us check it by already discussed example here. Let us take n is equal to 6. 
6 is the even number. When the number of observations is even number, we get two mean values. What is the first one is the n by 2 term, second one is the n by 2 plus 1 term. See, you can see the same thing on the screen here n value is 6. First n by 2 term, n by 2 is equal n value 6, 6 by 2, that is called third term. And n by 2 plus 1, that means 6 by 2 plus 1, that is 3 plus 1, 4. That means third and fourth terms are the middle observations or middle terms of the data arranged in ascending or descending order. This is the way to find the middle values of the data. After finding the two middle values, we calculate the median. How we calculate the median? The average of those two middle values will be the median of the data. Okay, children, let us take uh, one more thing. N is equal to 100. If number of observation N is 100, 100 is the even number. Clearly, we will get two middle values. What are those? N by 2 and N by 2 plus 1 the term are the mid values. Let us substitute N value 100. 100 by 2. That means 50th term will be the one mid value. And N by 2 plus 1. 100 by 2 plus 1. 100 by 2 means 50. 50 plus 1, 51 term. That means 50 and 51 the term are the mid values of the data. Here, entire discussion, we get an idea. If number of observations, you can see the same thing on the screen, we can write it in the note. If number of observations, n is even number, n by 2, comma n by 2 plus 1 the term are the middle values. If number of observations n is the odd number, n plus 1 by 2th term, n, by, n plus 1 by 2th observations will be the middle value. Because middle value is the main important thing to calculate the median.